Many gardeners love growing roses. It is the most popular and beloved flower in the garden. And on this popularity, as always, there are a bunch of people who would not mind taking advantage of those who lack the experience on part of novice gardeners. A vivid example of this is this bag of rainbow rose seeds that we purchased on the internet. Having paid $10, they were sent to us in this form. Neither the country of origin nor any care instructions were provided. At first glance, it is clear that this is fraud and the seller does not even try to give the product a decent presentation like that of reputable manufacturers. The fact that rainbow roses, they do not exist in nature. And I don't wanna dwell on this for too long on how they're obtained or how you make them yourself. You can watch a video on our channel in detail. The link is below if you wanna check that out. But I want to refute the claims of many unscrupulous websites that modern hybrid roses can be grown by seeds. So let's skip all of these websites and let's read the research article posted on the Australian Government Department of Health page. I'll link it below. In this publication, information is collected in great detail regarding all aspects of growing roses in agriculture. What is propagated by seeds in the process of industrial cultivation? Here I read, quote, cultivars are not seed propagating because germination is often problematic and because seeds derived progeny will segregate widely for traits and therefore have characteristics that differ from the parents. Propagation of roses by seeds is used in breeding new cultivars or in the production of rootstock plants of some species, such as Rosa canina. Rootstock plants for grafting can be propagating from seeds, but most often are clonally and propagated using soft or hardwood cutting and are referred to as clonal rootstocks." End quote. So why are all cultivars, almost all modern varieties of roses, are not propagated by seeds? From the publication here I read, quote, induced mutations have been used to create a number of new rose cultivars, especially with unique flower characteristics, both Y-rays and X-rays, and more recently, ion beam irrigation have been used, end quote. What does such an aggressive interference with the normal genetics of roses lead to? Here I read, quote, the fertility of modern roses are often low, due in part of meiotic abnormalities and accumulation of deleterious recessives as a result of long history of crossing heterozygous polyploid parents. Within the horticulture cultivars of the modern roses, they are many that lack pollen, may have missing or incomplete sexual organs, or may not set fruit." End quote. It turns out that mutant roses are sterile. What about hybrids? Here I read, quote, Hybridization among modern cut roses or garden cultivars can result in hip set as low as 25% with only four seeds per hip and only 18% seed germination, end quote. I think that this is enough to understand that no varieties of modern roses can be grown from seeds. Nothing at all, not only rainbow roses, but all of this is deception. My professional curiosity haunts me. What kind of seeds were sent to me? I go to a garden where I have May Rose, Rose Hip, or Rosa Majalis. After bird raids, several fruits have survived, and I compare the seeds, and the seeds of the May Rose turned out to be much larger than the so-called rainbow roses. They differed in shape, color, and texture. But what plant did they belong to? I logically thought that if they're smaller, then it could be a miniature rose or a multi-flowered one. I went to the park and I found a Rosa multi-flora bush, an invasive roseweed, that our park workers are fighting in vain. But those seeds were even smaller. They weren't the same. So what's next? I tried to analyze what the scammers were thinking. The seeds for these shenanigans should be widely available and cost almost nothing. But they should either be looking very similar to the original seeds or sprouting like the plant that they claim to be. Is it a spice? Is it food? Or is it a weed? I even thought that there might be pomegranate seeds, the traditional Asian spice of Anardana. They look alike, but they're not the same. I went to a bulk food store in a Chinese supermarket in hopes of finding an answer to my question. I thought it could be a hawthorn because the seeds of some species of small hawthorns are very similar to rose seeds. They are also representatives of the same Rosaceae family, but everything was not the same. The hawthorn seeds looked similar, but they differed in size and in texture. 
I had no choice but to refer to reference books, and I eventually found them in the American government website USDA Plants Database. The link is below. Color, size, texture, shape completely matched representatives of wild plant species of forest prairie roses, such as Rosa acicularis, Rosa blanda, Rosa carolina, and Rosa woodsy, which are most closely similar to our seeds and is a natural hybrid of all the roses listed above. The manufacturer can correct me if I'm mistaken. You may ask, why these wild rose seeds from the internet never sprout? Here I read, quote, Rose seeds generally require a period of stratification before they will germinate, end quote. The seeds can easily stay in the ground from a few months to up to two years before they germinate. Rose seeds are devoid of the endosperm and for successful germination, a combination of external factors are needed in agriculture. It must be artificially created and therefore farmers prefer the cuttings method for growing rootstocks. This is why impatient gardeners throw the annoying empty pot into the garden or compost. The problem is that with non-germinated seeds of unknown origin, you can introduce into your garden or into compost pile of seeds of invasive weeds or unidentified pests or even worth pathogenic bacteria or viruses. Why waste money, time and effort if your result is still a deception? Thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions you have below and don't forget to subscribe.